welcome back to another virtual tour. Today we will be going through different residence halls and you know looking at some different residence hall rooms. Also another thing that we'll be doing is you know experiencing some of the quads and things like that. So first thing I'm going to talk about or first building is Pritchard Hall and one thing I would like to point out uh, before we go into Pritchard Hall is the massive quad outside. So uh, luckily for this quad it was recently renovated uh, last year so the one thing about it is it has a very nice fitness center right here. Uh, it's kind of like a, uh, an adult outdoor, uh, you know, jungle gym, things like that. It's uh, very helpful and obviously on a nice sunny day when campus is populated, you'll see a lot of people out here. Uh, furthermore, if you look behind the fitness center, I'm not going to walk over there because people are playing basketball. You can see a, ba a blacktop basketball court that is <clears throat> very nice, newly renovated, and you can also see two beach volleyball sets. Also, they have charcoal grills on either side and it is surrounded by other residence hall rooms that will be joined by, you know, that will have your friends in them and things like that. So why don't we go inside of Pritchard Hall and take a look. This is the community center on the second floor of Pritchard Hall. Uh, this is one of obviously a, the study spaces or hangout lounges that are commonly found in residence halls. Obviously, Pritchard has a very nice one. Um, now, some things I'd like to point out is, you know, every resident, about every residence hall will have something similar to this. And uh, every residence hall, uh, only, the only people that will be allowed access to them are students in the residence hall or people that work within a residence hall. So therefore, you know, you won't have a bunch of just random people coming into the, you know, your specific lounges and things like that, unless, of course, they're friends of yours or you let them in. Uh, so that's a very nice feature and it makes sure that this, you know, can be used by those who are living in this facility. Pritchard is a very large residence hall. It has seven floors and it has about a thousand students that live in Pritchard Hall. Um, <clears throat> and it is a non-air conditioned residence hall. Uh, however, uh, I will show you a room later and also, you know, tell you about what that's like, which it really doesn't cause any problems whatsoever. So moving on, here we have Pritchard's kitchen area. Um, every residence hall will have a kitchen. Obviously, Pritchard has a very nice one here. Uh, now this is open to any student uh, that lives in Pritchard Hall. Also, this doubles as a crossover lounge uh, in between different sides of the fourth floor. Uh, as you can see, it also includes a big TV like the community center before. Um, and also, you know, uh, in case you're concerned about not having a full-size kitchen like you might at home, obviously that's not the case at all. Pritchard has every sort of amenity you need as far as cooking. Um, also, there are plenty of spaces to hang out and chill within your residence hall if you want to get out of your room. Here we are at the art studio for a living learning program here in Pritchard Hall. It is Studio 72, as you can tell by some of the uh, decorations around. Uh, now, one thing I would like to say is living learning programs, uh, most of them do have a space like this where you can go and kind of have your own workshop. Uh, if you want to check out more information or see some of these spaces, go to llc.vt.edu. Uh, now, I mentioned uh, the other living learning programs. There are actually five within Pritchard Hall alone. Uh, they are Innovate, Thrive, Studio 72, obviously, uh, VIA, and finally, the transfer experience. Um, now go and check out these other living learning programs. Uh, and as I said, to learn more about them, visit llc.vt.edu. This is a typical room in Pritchard Hall. Uh, one thing I would like to point out about Pritchard Hall is a traditional hall style residence hall, which means that there will be multiple rooms on the hall and you will share a hall bathroom. Uh, now it is co-ed as well. Um, now this, like I said, is a typical room. You have the option to either loft your bed completely or you do not have to loft your bed. Uh, one thing I want to point out about each room that we go into today is that each room will have a sink within it unless it's a suite style. But each traditional room has a sink in it, which is nice, so you don't have to worry about brushing your teeth in the hall bathroom. Um, I find this especially nice if you're running late and you just want to, you know, brush your teeth really quick throw on a hat and walk out the door. It's uh, really nice. So one thing that will most likely be in one of these rooms, because there's no AC, you can, you and your roommate can bring a box fan as well, which helps out. And honestly, it makes about the same impact as being in a residence hall with AC. 
So it really does not make much of a difference not having that air conditioning in Pritchard Hall. To end Pritchard Hall, we are in the courtyard area. This is in the center of the building um, and there's first floor access. Uh, this is definitely a nice outdoor area to go and study because obviously the Wi-Fi does reach out here. Um, this is one of a couple courtyard areas that other residence halls may have, but it's relatively rare. Uh, so this is a nice cool feature of Pritchard Hall. So we started outside, we're ending outside, um, and then we will move to Pedro Yates. Um, and I'll sort of show you the quad and then the inside of that building as well. Uh, but I'll just give you a couple of seconds to take in this uh, beautiful little courtyard outside uh, and a nice study place and hangout area to take advantage of on a nice day like today.